This is Kim speaking on what is life and the point of life. At Destiny we speak a lot about life using terms like life itself and um, oneness and equality with all life as all that is here and standing up as life though you know what does that mean because um, it's interesting that humanity you know, all of us human beings we've never considered the point of life we've never actually looked at that point just looked at life and what is life and we've kind of created it you know we've made it into another job that need to needed to be fulfilled by philosophers who would then go and search for answers to the question for us what is life to as kind of a, just another entertainment, I guess, for the intellectuals who would want to read books. And you know, you have the philosophers who are searching then for answers to the question of what is life, and then they come up with all these pretty, beautiful, nice theories like I think, therefore I am, and God knows what. Uh, what you know and then people read those books like what they serve you I at university a lot of university university college um, studies require for you to read about philosophy to read about what all those big names have written you know we all know the names like Plato and Aristotle and um, Descartes and um, you know all the names um, and then you have to read them and you have to remember it and you have to take exams and everything so what happens then is that it becomes knowledge for someone else that read the books and then we go and quote them we go and quote what this Descartes said about life I think therefore I am yes so that's apparently now our answer to what life is because you know that's not at all based on introspection or any type of real investigation but that's simply because we read a book and now we want to use it to our advantage so we can personally feel good about ourselves just like what we do with everything so do we really care about life? no do we care about what life is? no we just wanna feel good you know we just wanna keep on experiencing these emotions and feelings and we just wanna keep on doing what we do whatever it is that we do the point is that we don't really want to consider anything besides our own personal life. So we will only um, accept answers that fit into our personal life and what we like to hear and what makes us feel good. Um, and we will never consider that maybe life as what it really is has nothing to do with what we want it to be or has nothing to do with something that makes us feel good maybe life is something that does not support our apparent superiority of ourselves as the human being at all maybe life is not something that the human being can just abuse like it does with everything like we do with everything. Maybe life isn't just something that we have dominion 
over as what we seem to believe. But we are not willing to consider what life actually is. Because we don't want to give up on our fantasies and belief systems and ideas and feelings that make life out to be something that is actually not which is something that we want it to be we believe all these things about life you know everybody has a different opinion about what life is or what life is supposed to be but is that what life really is no ob obviously not but it's what we like to believe because it's what ma what makes us feel good so w each one of us is our own personal philosopher you know um, just making these quotes all the time that's what people do they make quotes the whole time one-liners just to get attention just so we can just feel good about ourselves you know and it's absurd really to watch human beings exist like that because what we've gone and done is like each one of us has their own personal religion I mean there's this point of all the various religions and there are a few in the world like the big religions okay in that you can also you can already see that you know nobody really knows what life is you know no religion is real because there's just so many to choose from how can you possibly choose the answer to what is life how can that be a choice how can life be something that you either choose to believe in or not how is life not something that is just what it is you know, life. I mean, come on, we're living, we're alive. That should be obvious and evident. But we seem to believe that life is something to believe in. Life is something that we can, you know, choose to believe in or not. Life is happiness, or life is pessimism, or positivity, or life is Christianity, life is devotion to God, life is prayer, life is Jesus Christ. Uh, life is Buddha, life is happiness did I say that? okay uh, life is <sighs> love life is thoughts, emotions, feelings life is relationships, sex, whatever we all have our personal belief about what life is but you know as because we apparently believe that life that life is nothing like we doesn't we don't exist that's the whole point this is what our religions show us um, is that we don't exist because if we would exist if we would actually be life then you know we wouldn't have to believe in anything because we'd actually see it we'd actually see the answer right in front of us because it is who we are because we are life because we exist it's simple if we are life then we don't have to look for the answer to the question of what is life we don't have to answer that question that question wouldn't even exist because you no know, we are life I mean obvious as the living statement of who I am I'm life simple but we don't exist therefore we have all these religions that claim they have the answer to life they claim that they have the ultimate answer to who we are, why we're here, who made us, or you know what what is good and what is bad and what is right and what is wrong, what are the rules and who made the rules and how we were created and why we were created and what is our purpose, blah blah blah. You know we have all these various, even inside religions you have divisions, you have separation of those people who are the extremists or the orth orthodox and then those people who go that way and those people who believe in that prophet or apostle you know you you just everybody believes something else because it makes them personally feel good about themselves to believe in that specific thing about what life apparently is wherein obviously they themselves have this glorious beautiful purpose of why they are here on this world that they can believe in but the very fact that we believe in something 
that we believe in life means that we are not life. We, we don't exist in the first place because life can only be one thing. Obviously, life is what it is and the fact that we don't even see what life actually is means that we don't exist, that we're not real. So, I'll expand in another interview on what life actually is. Okay, thanks.